You heard a legend? Legend that speak? That's a walking legend right there. What up, YouTube? It's Boy Midwest Con, highfly.com, promo code Con. So, today, episode 5, World Iron Wars. Um, today, I'm gonna go and try to see how many times I can hit 315. Now, I uh, did it for 20, a video a while back. So, again, I always end out with the 245 rep out. So, I'm just what I'm doing is just continuing to. Continue to confuse the muscle, shock the muscle. So when I do put 225 on the bar, it should feel like nothing. So my, my goal is to hit it over 70. And if I can get the 245 up in the 40s, I think hitting 225, which is 20 pounds lighter, will be, you know, be a, be a piece of cake. Uh, I will say today though, my elbows are feeling it. Um, in case y'all seen on my Instagram or I just posted as a short, I was called crushing some pretty heavy weight, which I never do. So my elbow is kind of paying for it today. So I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it cool, man. I ain't gonna use no spotter as usual, cause I want to see how many I can get and comfortably put it up when I do the 315 and the 245. Last time I hit 245 was 36. That was after hitting 405, 48. So we're doing good, man. We did pay. So I'm gonna build up to it. I'm gonna build up real slow. Go from 135 warm up. To 245, 275, and 295, and then I'm gonna go to the 315. So, good control reps, good, good, uh, good tension on the muscle. I'm getting swollen. That's, I mean, got to go out on to, you know, you can get yours at hyperlife.com, and maybe you can look as good as me. <laughs> Probably not, but like I always say, you look better than you did today. <laughs> so, go ahead and go and get you some more pack from that, man. Hyper Mud 2.0. Great flavor. You're coming out with the Go Wild pre-workout. Or, um, I'm sorry, pump too, so I can't wait for that. But other than that, man, let's get busy, man. And look, I got chicken calves, not chicken legs. But the last time I wore a dress, you know, ain't nobody noticed that.
Red 315, 22, hit 245, 30. So that's 52 reps between the two. So at least, at least I'm still in the 30 range of the 245. So it's still good, man. Still good. Um, last time I did it, like I said, I did it 36 times. But I didn't do as many reps with 405. I only did that for eight. Either way, man, my muscles getting a ton of confusion. My body is getting used to putting up heavy weight for a lot of times. So uh, I'm on the right path, man. Then I'll start, you know, getting closer, tapering off, and then spike back up real good. Get ready. Get ready to do that, man. Hey, man. I tell people all the time, man, every day, every day your door knocked, that ain't an opportunity. That could be a knock at the door telling you how bad you missed out on your shot. So whether it's the Hulk or Superman or whoever, I'm out there, man. And when you say it's your time, you gotta make sure everybody knows it's your time. You can't be bullshitting. So do I come with disrespect? No, but I do come to make sure motherfuckers know ain't no plan around here. You from the Midwest, dog. Like I said, we don't see much around here, so when we go, we gotta go get it. <laughs> Great, great shit, bro. Great shit. Like, I don't want to live an average life. I don't want average anything. I don't. I don't. I'm not content with anything. So when people tell me like, give us, I want to be in shape, but I want to go to the gym, but, but what? I, I can't. You can't talk to me about that because it was a time in my life that I was working in a battery plant. I was working seven days on, two days off, 12 hour shifts, and was going to the gym. Damn near falling asleep at stop signs, man. In fact, I fell asleep on the expressway all the way around the curb. Hit the little zzz, woke me up. Then I bearded off and went to a second shift. Every time I still was in the gym, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because what we find ourselves doing is doing other things that we don't have time for, where it's not relevant. So you do have time. You can do something that don't, ain't good for you and good for your mental health and good for your physical health for an hour, two hours. So then why don't you take that time and spend it going to the gym? And if it's not for you, it's not for you, but don't come to people who sacrifice everything to be in the gym. That's what we do, that's what we wanna do. If you don't wanna do it, that's fine. We don't judge you for not doing that. At least I'm not. But I'm just saying, when you tell me I want to, but the only thing stopping you is the coronavirus from going in the gym. Other than that, hey, we didn't have a gym either at one time. So, we trying to get it. Like I said, I'm trying to be great, dog. Y'all following somebody that's trying to be great. So that's what we always gonna promote. Great shit. People with, 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 with small thinking would think a challenge like that, hey, like, oh shoot, he said he wanted to do a 225 bench press with the hawk. Like they think it's crazy. When I, dude, this has been me all my life. I was a little dude, little stocky dude coming up playing football. I wanted to play on the defensive line just because it looked like where the, that was where the biggest dudes was. My first, second year of training Jiu Jitsu, it was a no-gi tournament. It was an open weight tournament, open weight division, $500 on the table. Sean Bansfield, shout out to Sean Bansfield. Sean Bansfield was a Pan Am champ, went and traveling around whooping everybody. They called him to the table, they called the absolute to the table. Sean Bansfield was the only one signed up. They said, well, anybody else signing up? Deion Thompson put the tournament on, my old instructor. He said, hey, $500 pot, nobody would sign up, nobody. I just won the ultra heavyweight division. I go to Deion, I said, Deion, man, put me in and put me against Bansfield first. He said, you sure? Absolutely. 
right then and there is when everybody knew this boy for real. I had no business out there with Sean to the to the uneducated eye. Oh God, he's going out there with Sean. After I went in, everybody signed up. I went out there and I lost. Two zip. Battle. That's what this is about. I ain't scared of nothing. I'm ready for any challenge. Any challenge. 225, let's go. Hawk, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Whoever. I mean, what? what? We only got one shot at this shit, man. One shot. Stop being a bitch. Hyphlife.com, promo code Kong, man. Road Iron Words, episode five. It's kind of dope, man. I like having a consistent, like a, a consistent series. Like, I, I like a lot of, like, the YouTube series. I remember Rich Piana used to do the bigger by the day. Recipes Rich Piana, one of the pioneers of the social media influence shit. But, uh, so I like, I like doing stuff like that. And I think this is really good. You guys really gonna see a lot of progression, a lot of change in my physique doing this. Again, I haven't flat been since so long, so to get back to it, it feels good. Uh, Y'all yeah, know today Friday, so I'm preaching. You know what I'm saying? That video gonna come too. Um, that's gonna be a tradition too, man. Every Friday, every Friday, it was a Friday I shot with CT. You know what I'm saying? Again, that was a long time dream of being in the social media. That's, that's, that was amazing. So it was a Friday I do it. So every Friday, man, I preach. You know what I'm saying? If you're tired of it, don't subscribe to me, man. Go subscribe to the one little dude with the Abercrombie uh, abs, man. Yeah. Go subscribe to the 130 pound dude with all the cuts. Not somebody that got those. <laughs> anyway, man. So like I said, man, yo, I'm here to be great. I have a short time. And, and I say that because, again, we don't never know what tomorrow's promise. I talk about that a lot. So I'm here, and I'm here to compete with the best. So at the end of the day, I'm not satisfied unless I bang with the top notch. And guess what? Hulk is top notch. 